Hi everyone, I'm Lorraine from Simply English Edinburgh. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to look at some really nice adjectives for describing yourself and others, be it in an exam situation because that quite often comes up as a question in IELTS, CAE, CPE, etc. Or for a job interview or just when you're meeting new people and you want to be a little bit more specific about your character. So when you're ready, let's get started. So many times I have seen the question appear, particularly in IELTS part two. Describe someone you know, describe a member of your family, describe a teacher you had at school. And I mean, no matter how elevated the level of the student is, sometimes people revert back to kind of core vocabulary for describing people like nice, happy, kind, friendly, and you're both not really getting the true character of the person across, but also you're not really showing off your level with that kind of vocabulary because let's be honest, when did you learn happy, kind, friendly, probably in your first you know, few classes of English. So that's not really going to get you there when it comes to the higher level marks. So let's have a look at something a little bit more interesting. My first adjective today is worldly. I think it's everyone's dream to be described as worldly. It's quite sophisticated, knowledgeable, but particularly open to other languages, other cultures, because it means you know a lot about the world. My German teacher was extremely worldly. She taught us so much, not just about language, but also about German culture. So that's a really nice compliment to describe someone as worldly. The next one today is upbeat. Upbeat means that someone is really positive, enthusiastic, and with a lot of energy. Now, upbeat is often used to describe the music you typically hear playing at the gym uh, because it's trying to get like get you going, get you motivated, get you moving. I think everyone knows that kind of person that's always like, okay, let's go, go, go. A lot of plans, a lot of energy. Um, so yeah, upbeat is a really nice way to describe that kind of person. The third one today is fiery. And first of all, please note the spelling, the E is coming before the R. Um, fiery is an interesting one because it can be used in a positive or in a more negative sense, depending on the context. For me, fiery is someone who is passionate, they've poured their heart and soul into something and therefore they're going to be quite defensive about it and they're not going to let people criticise it or they're going to fight for what they believe in. Um, so you could say, for instance, our project manager is fiery because uh, she loves her work, she defends her staff and that can be seen as a really good thing because her staff or her team feel like she's there for them. But if you're saying in general, like, someone is fiery, maybe you just mean that they're quick tempered. They're the type of person who the waiter brings the wrong order and they instantly get mad and you'd say, oof, they're a little bit fiery, be careful with them. The next one today is cranky, which is also, you know, a little bit negative. Uh, someone who is cranky, it doesn't mean that they're permanently in a bad mood, but it means that they're irritable. And I find that this one we can use particularly when people are tired or hungry. We all again have that friend who they need to eat regularly or they get a little bit cranky, they get a little bit irritable and annoyed with everyone and um, so that's quite a nice one. Our next ones today are money related and um, let's go first with a positive one and then a slightly more negative one. We're starting off with thrifty. So someone who is thrifty, I mean it's fantastic because it means they spend their money wisely, they're clever with how they use their savings, um, they know how to shop around and get the best deals. So if you have a friend who is thrifty, they're the person to go to when you're looking to buy, uh, you know, buy a large purchase or make an investment because they'll know the discount codes. They're going to know when there's an offer or when something is on sale um, and they're very, you know, kind of good and clever with their money. Stingy on the other hand, 
not that good because someone who is stingy doesn't like spending money at all. They're quite tight. Um, maybe they're the type of person who will go out for a couple of drinks and when it's their round, it's time to go home or they tend not to hang out with you around your birthday because they don't really want to have to spend money on a gift. Um, so yeah, thrifty is the good one, stingy, the not so good one. The next one is really useful because as I said, in that IELTS part two, it's quite often um, that you are asked about a family member or a teacher or a member of your community and therefore we often kind of go to kind as our go-to adjective and I think we could replace that one with nurturing. Now to nurture means to help something to develop and grow and give it lots of encouragement and therefore a nurturing person is that sort of like caring, loving, kind person who really helps particularly in those developmental stages. So I'm thinking about like my mum, for example, as a primary um, instance, um, she was extremely nurturing, she still is extremely nurturing um, and loving and all of those good things. So yeah, it's kind of like the parental figures, um, perhaps people who are working in care, like nurses or care workers, um, social workers, teachers perhaps as well. So that is a really nice adjective to describe them. And today we're going to finish the video with Fossey. Now Fossey again is the kind of person who is picky, choosy, maybe they don't eat everything on the menu, maybe they are difficult to buy a gift for um, because yeah they're, they're selective in, in what they want. Um, you often hear fussy eater for example to describe someone who like I said looks at the menu or looks at their plate and they're sort of separating things around. It kills me honestly it really annoys me <laughs> um, but yeah that's a really nice one to describe certain people. So I hope you have found today's video interesting. If you have, please give it a like. Um, and as always, like, subscribe, share with your friends, and I will see you, of course, in the not too distant future, hopefully in the next video. Thanks for your time, bye.